Nothing says I'm not worthy quite like the creaking of obsequious knees, Teresa May must know this, as her own fair knees have been a creaking constantly from all the curtsying she has been doing for people. The Tory Prime Minister has been widely mocked for her bandy-legged bending in front of several monarchs, usually at important events, but who does she have to curtsy for, and what's going on with her curtsy style? Just because she is the country's political leader, May is no ultra-being. She is just a normal British subject, like the rest of us. She therefore has to show respect for the royal family in the traditional way. Naturally, she has to curtsy for Queen Elizabeth II, our reigning monarch. But she must also curtsy for the Queen's husband, Prince Philip, and many others in the family. They include Prince Charles and all his siblings, plus Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge. She also has to curtsy for Prince Harry and the Duchess of Sussex, though she didn't think their union special enough to give us a bank holiday on their wedding, lesser royals like Zara Tindall and Princess Beatrice. Not so much. Curiously, foreign men and women are not required to bow or curtsy to the higher echelons of the royal family as they are not their subjects, but stooping is not limited to meetings with the royals. If Teresa was to meet the Pope, she would very likely feel obliged to curtsy for him. May's curtsy is certainly quite a low one, but then again it's entirely up to the curtser how low they want to take it. Angelina Jolie hardly stooped at all when meeting the Queen. No Prime Minister has ever refused to curtsy, or bow their head, to the appropriate royals. It's usually a great photo opportunity to show the electorate how much they care about the country's archaic, even by the Queen's standards, traditions. Thatcher was particularly good at it. Though that may be because she wore long gowns that hid the tangled network of legs, royals must also bow and curtsy to each other, particularly at private dinners. There's a complicated hierarchy of who should bow to whom, and the duchesses who have married Harry and Wills are near the bottom.